You guys ready to see our biggest bird? Yeah. It would be really cruel of me if I just pulled out another saw. <laughs> I won't do that to you guys, don't worry. <laughs> Are you ready? Whoa. I know, whoa! <laughs> so this is Lutzen. And Lutzen is, of course, a bald eagle, and she almost always on cue. <laughs> She's a big show-off. Yeah. Uh, just for reference, her wingspan, and she doesn't even have her wings folded out all the way right now, her wingspan is longer than I am tall. I'm only five feet tall, I'm pretty short, and her wingspan is a little over six feet. So she's got wings longer than I am, which is very, very impressive. She's a big girl. She's, in fact, our largest eagle that we have at the raptor center. She's a big female. And the females in the raptor world are bigger than the males. So this is as big as she's ever going to get, but she's a big girl. And not only that, but she's from northern Minnesota. She's from northern Minnesota. And the more cold the area is, the bigger the eagles get. I know, you're whacking me all over the place. She's psh, psh. <laughs> um, and so because she's from the north, she's going to be bigger. So the biggest eagles that exist in the country are in Alaska. The, those bald eagles are even bigger than she is sometimes. Uh, because she's from the north, like I said, she's going to be bigger. Versus if you go to Florida, the bald eagles there are going to be a lot smaller in size. But she's a big girl, and a lot of people will guess, oh, well, you know, what, how much does she weigh? 50, 100 pounds? Which, if you guess that, thank you. That's a huge compliment. <laughs> she only weighs around 11 to 12 pounds. In the winter, she'll weigh upwards of 14 because they gain some weight in the winter to stay warm. But she's very light, right? She has hollow bones. And the way I like to explain it to people is if she was really heavy, she wouldn't be able to get off the ground fast enough to catch anything. Has anyone ever seen swans run across the water before, before they take off? It's because swans are heavy. Swans are hefty birds. And so in order to get momentum, they need like a runway to get off the ground. If she needed a runway to get off the ground, she's not catching anything, right? That prey is gone by the time she needs to lift off. So they're actually fairly light so that they can swoop down and catch themselves a fish. Now, I'm sure many of us have seen bald eagles before. Raise your hand if you've seen a bald eagle. Besides today. <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere, right? And just, just like, you know, we talked about doing the intro, we're going to try to fly into that tree there. So some of you guys might notice that she has a leash on. That's to keep her nice and safe because she is non-releasable. So she can't fly up into a tree if she wants. And sometimes we, oh, did you lose your feather? Oh, she's like, what? <laughs> How did that fall out? What? I know that's from you. Do you want it back? Here you go. Do you want it back? <laughs> She said, thank you. I don't know why I dropped that. It's molting season, so they're losing all their old feathers. Well, you, that's, that's your fault. I'm not picking that back up. <laughs> they're losing all their feathers and growing in new ones. Um, but like I was saying, this leash keeps her nice and safe because she is non-releasable. She is not able to go back out into the wild. So they know the glove is safe. They know they're, they're supposed to stay on the glove. But sometimes we get a little bit excited and we go, oh, that looks like a fun tree to sit in. But we're not obviously not allowed to go up there. <laughs> just like taking your dog on a walk with a leash on. It just keeps her nice and safe. And back at the Raptor Center, she can fly around all she wants. But when she's out here on a field trip, she's got to stay on a leash. So Ms. Lutzen here is with us because she is from Lutzen, Minnesota. I know we're so creative naming our birds. I know. She's like, could you be better with that and give me a more creative name? And she's from Lutzen, Minnesota. And she is with us because she was caught flying up to people and grabbing people's legs and shoes for food. That's not normal bald eagle behavior. <laughs> she wasn't actually trying to be aggressive. A lot of people, you know, uh, their immediate thought is, oh, she's being aggressive, she was attacking. She wasn't actually doing any of that. She was asking for food. In the wild, bald eagles, juvenile bald eagles, will ask each other for food by harassing each other, essentially. So the adults, will get chased around by juveniles 
And the adults actually will purposefully drop 